Hello, welcome to John Rudge's talk show. It's been a long time since we've been on air, a number of years, and um, I just wanted to introduce you again to uh, the program again, uh, as I just believe the Lord uh, has put it on my heart to start these programs again. And now, instead of Facebook, this is going to be on YouTube. So, hi to everyone watching. I'm John Rudge, uh, broadcasting from the Isle of Wight here in Freshwater and um, just really feel it on my heart to start this program again um, under the ministry of Soaring Eagles Ministries which is a ministry I believe the Lord told me to start uh, some years ago which I did but uh, uh, obviously working full time it hasn't really been a well known thing I haven't really done much preaching or anything like that but uh, I've got a heart for ministry and uh, the Lord has definitely called me as an evangelist to preach the gospel to the king of the kingdom, to uh, the world. So welcome to uh, John Rudge's talk show as we start again a whole new series uh, talking about Jesus and talking about the word of God. And I'll tell you something, you are in for some awesome, awesome programs uh, we're going to bring in some uh, really anointed people for you to, to meet and to see and to hear what they have to, sh to share. Um, and you're going to be blessed. You know, I mean, I'm a big fan of Sid Roth on uh, It's Supernatural. Sorry, my wife's la laughing at me, so she's putting me off a bit. Actually, honey, can you bring my Bible, please? Uh, and I've been very blessed by... Uh, Sid Roth's program from America, but I tell you what, it's about time we had something like that in England. Well, I'm telling you now, I'm telling you, it is time that English people raise up and start preaching the gospel and start preaching the truth instead of all this religious rubbish out there. Come on, I'm telling you, it's English people, will you rise up? The English church, it is time for you to rise up and start preaching the gospel of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, I'm telling you, I just really feel that in my spirit. The Lord is telling me right now, and I didn't plan to say this, there are people out there, you have been too long living in sin, living in the way of the flesh, and I'm telling you, you're not going to find joy, you're not going to find peace. The only way you're going to find true joy and true peace is when you break with all of the rubbish in your life and you start preaching the truth, you start believing the truth. And it's time as well for the people who are in ministry, church leaders, to stop doing the things of the flesh, to stop just speaking rubbish and start speaking the truth. You know, there is, the Bible is full of truth. It's full of awesome stuff. But the trouble is, we, we are just speaking it just in the mind and, in, and, and not the Spirit. Because remember that the, the Holy Spirit is the one who must wield the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word. So with the Word and the Spirit together, we have power, we have anointing. We, we need the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not saying we should always have, uh, you know necessarily manifestations of holy laughter and so forth. Praise God when those things happen. But you don't always need to feel the Holy Spirit. Even when you don't feel the Holy Spirit, you still need to rely on Him. You still need to stir up that revelator by praying in the Holy Ghost. You might say, what are you doing? John, I'm I'm praying to the Father. That's what I'm doing. I'm telling I'm telling you, if we don't pray in the Holy Spirit, we got nothing. Because we're just doing the world's ways. And the flesh's ways. And so welcome back. I didn't plan on saying any of those things. I'm still waiting for my Bible to come. My wife is uh hopefully gonna bring it in a minute. But this is just an introduction program back to this show to say you are going to be seriously blessed. Make sure you tune in to the... I'm going to try and do every week one of these, a new show. Um, I'm going to put it on, you, uh, on YouTube. Uh, so you just need to search for John Rudge's talk show or search for um, uh, Soaring Eagles Ministries. Thank you, honey. It's my Bible's covenant.
And I'm telling you, there's one scripture I just want to read to you before we go, because this is only a short program. But it's to encourage you. What is the point of this program? It's to encourage you to start living the life that God has called you to live. You know, we can't always be looking to the American church. It is time for the English church to arise and to start preaching the words of Jesus, the gospel. I'm telling you, we are in the last days, folks. We are in the very last days. It is time for us to start doing God's will. To start going wholeheartedly for God. To start going full out for God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I've got so much I could say to you, but I, I've got to think of the time because of this YouTube video. But I'm just going to read to you from Isaiah chapter 61. For the first few verses. And it says this. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Hallelujah. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Hallelujah. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Are you bound in sin? Are you bound in depression? Are you bound in anything of the devil? And the Lord is sending me to say, Be free in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone watching to experience a revival in their spirit, in their soul. With revival by the Holy Spirit to come upon you. To touch you with a new wave of his love and a new wave of his anointing in Jesus' name. To set you free from the prison of self. The prison of, of just always focusing on yourself. Take your eyes off yourself and put your eyes on Jesus. Because he will set you free. Hallelujah. To set you free from the prison. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To console those who mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The Lord wants to give you a garment of praise instead of the spirit of heaviness. And in Jesus' name, I speak the joy of the Lord to come upon you again. The joy of the Lord to come upon you so that you will have strength to do the will of the Lord. And all spirit of heaviness, I command you to get off everyone who's watching right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, there's a revival coming, folks. A revival is coming because God is going to move in these last days. And I'll tell you something, I want to be part of what God's going to do. Uh, you know, if anyone who, who's watching who knows me, I, I, you know, I, I believe in having both feet on the ground. I've got a business. I'm running a business by God's grace. But it's not my ability, it's the Lord's ability in me. But that's not the most important thing. Yes, we've got to have money, we've got to work. But I'm telling you folks, number one is God. The kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Just finished this reading, it says, That they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The most, most important thing in my life is that God will be glorified. Now he's, he's put that in me because in my sinful self, there's pride. But when the Lord comes, he shows you that to be glorifying God is the most important thing. God must be glorified. Hallelujah. He will be glorified in us and through us. And when he reaches out his loving arms to you and touches you and saves you and brings you out of your own prison of, of depression and fear and doubt and all of the negative things of Satan's kingdom, that is when God will be glorified. To set you free. Well, now is time for me to end this sort of first.